And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Riven Lucian. Let's play some more Grand Plaza. This uh, this landmark was absolutely incredible whenever we played it yesterday with the Riven Katarina deck. And we're playing a very similar deck here. We got a donation deck to try it out with Lucian. Playing Lucian, Senna, and Riven and this the Grand Plaza. This card's incredible. I've, I've talked about it a whole bunch. It just every single ally that you summon gets plus one, plus one, and Challenger is so incredibly powerful. And I, this is my pick for the, the best non-champion in the entire expansion uh, that we just had. I I think it's really good. And so we're going to pair it with some stuff like Ground Plaza plus Grizzled Ranger is just insane because you have your 4-2 Grizzled Ranger that has Challenger. It attacks, it dies. Now you have a 4-5 Challenger Badger Bear that gets to attack, kill something else. That's amazing. You have House Spider, which turns into a 3-3 a three, three Challenger and a 2-2 two, two Challenger <laughs> whenever you play, whenever you have the Ground Plaza, which is amazing. And then, of course, you, here we have Lucian, Senna. These things have Quick Attack with Challenger. They're going to be very strong. Um, yeah, I think, so this is going to be really interesting. You know, we'll have our, our Kato with the Overwhelm, the Cythria with the Fearsome, all that kind of stuff. Katarina, yesterday though, when we played this deck, Katarina and Grand Plaza were incredible together. I think the, probably the best version of this kind of deck is probably playing Katarina, maybe instead of Riven. But we're, we're trying out Riven here with it, you know, being, uh, you know, right away with this new set, trying out the new card. So we're going to try Rune Weaver and Riven and, uh, you know, see how they go with Reforging and, and getting some Overwhelm with uh, the Blade of the Exile. Get some Overwhelm quick attack, um, you know, relentless pursuit, get some extra attacks, all that kind of stuff. So let's give it a try. Riven Lucian. Here we go. We're going to go play five games in ranked. Start that. Yeah, exactly. Basically, Riven, Riven's going to be, Riven's not going to have like the really high upside that Katarina does being able to take over games, but Riven's always going to be a really solid champion. Um, that's gonna gonna do good stuff for for three mana. Where where sometimes like if you don't have ground plaza, um, you know your Katarina may not do very much because your Katarina is not like blocking or anything like that. So Katarina is gonna be a lot higher variance. All right, all that stuff costs four more. Let's just mulligan it all. Let's look for a new hand. We're playing against in kind of aggressive deck here with Draven Victor. We don't have you know the ground plaza of course is our best card. We didn't have that. Um, so just go ahead and gonna go ahead and do a bunch of mulliganing. Push back to darkness. No. That was probably just a mistake by me to even just play the Lucian there, especially drawing the Grand Plaza. I'll do my best. Light. Let's get a Senna. Let's actually do this. Let's get a Senna in play. Because play the Grand Plaza on, on your attack turn, especially like this whenever I want to put pressure on, isn't the best. We want to play this on their, their turn, next turn. Let's do this and get this attacker in. Because I already have, you know, I've got another like Senna and stuff. Yeah, Ground Plaza has a lot of awesome stuff you can do in Shadow Isles, for sure. Because, like, imagine, like, this turn, turn three here, we could play Ground Plaza. Like, if we had, like, Curse Keeper on turn two, play Ground Plaza on turn three, then you Ravenous Butcher the, the Curse Keeper, you have those two big challengers. Or, yeah, you play the Pesky card, or, um, yeah, the, the two man, yeah, Haunted Relic. Yeah, you could play. You could keep your two spell mana for Haunted Relic. You play Grand Plaza, cast Haunted Relic, you get three two two challengers. You can do some pretty crazy stuff with it. So, it's, do I want House Spider and Senna or Grizzled Ranger? Probably House Spider and Senna. Let's start with House Spider. What they do to kill my Senna? What they just blocked it? Wait, what? What happened last turn? I was talking and not really paying attention. I'm, what nightmares fear. I'm not sure how they killed my Senna last turn. Genius in action. No 
Survivor skills. Okay. When discarded, your strongest ally can't can't drop below one health this round. Okay. That's what happened. That's pretty interesting. Poro Cannon with survivor skills to be zero mana protection for for you know a champion or something. That's that's very interesting. What time is it? Meta is perfection. Yeah, like that's that's really interesting. That's really that could be really cool. Challenger for Victor. Time for the main event. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Because yeah, the, the spinning axe is basically when when you're playing a board of augment cards, spinning axe is um, vision, right? Because it gives them all the plus one plus zero. Time for the money makers. So they're gonna have Victor challenge there. Yep. All right, well, we'll take that. Cleared out a victor. Wait, you're gonna be a 5-5 assembly bot? Five five assembly bot is concerning. I mean, it's just gonna keep getting bigger. Call me bags. Hmm. I just see a spinning axe kill my badger bear. Three one right now, but it's actually you know like it's actually a five three. They can grow, which I guess. Oh, so I guess this doesn't even kill it because they just go plus one plus one and then spinning axe plus one to know that that fervor doesn't even kill it. No, no, no. To serve the greater good. This is a good card. To, you know, usually want to play our things on their turn, but play the, I'm playing this here so we get to reforge on our turn. Attack turn that is. To serve the great okay, we got plus two, plus zero, and we got overwhelm. Their deck looks pretty sweet. Not gonna lie, their deck looks pretty sweet. Hmm. There's still much to answer for. Don't really have anything else to overwhelm.
And I'll put him dead. Dead. Did we get him? Boom. Great repose draw. Perfect draw. Whew, that was close. That was close. That worked out perfectly. Exactly how I wanted it to. Alright, so start now. These aren't necessarily bad cards. I kinda like kinda like the sharp sight repose more. Yuck. That was a bad trade. Oh, that's a bad trade. My you know, my thinking here is you know, Grand Plaza. Grand Plaza and our champions and all that kind of stuff, those are the most important cards, but they're gonna be a Grand Plaza deck also. And like I, so I want I want to have like this kind of things to be able to fight during combat. This just really didn't look good. All right, let's miss some folks up. Yeah, so basically both of our decks re revolve around this very important card. They have it, I don't, they win, GG's. Words of power linger in the air. Plus they have it with Grizzled Ranger, which is perfect. They just they just have like the ideal hand. That's what I want. <laughs> I want Grizzled I want Grizzled Ranger and the Grand Plaza. Hey, Kendis. Happy Friday. We can use the uh, fragment to give Kato quick attack, which is kind of nice of saying, don't kill my Kato. So I have to repost, which means I have four other mana. I'll just wait till after attacks. Okay, just cause like, I don't know, something else scary. To serve the greater good. They're not making it easy on me. Not making this easy. Why can't I have this card? Go time. Up top. Do seven to them. I'm not sure how I stay alive through this Neverglade Collector, but... Probably doesn't involve them drawing two. Oh yeah, if we if we had Plaza, I mean that's that's just the game, right? They have Plaza, I don't. If we had Plaza, we would be, you know, we would have been doing just fine, you know, being able to challenge and everything. We would have been fine if we had Plaza. It's not a good play to play the Warden's Prey right there, because now it doesn't have... I guess it doesn't matter if it doesn't have Challenger or not, I gotta block it. Every 
Okay. And then Neverglade kills us with that. GG's. Okay. Start that. Garen Aurelian Soul. Let's see. Mulligan. Garen Aurelian Soul. Let's mulligan this. We'll keep the 3 1 that has the Reforge. Yes, Grand Plaza. Yes. Ooh, another one. So I could have I could have played the Scythria on turn one and had a 2-2 two, two to attack. But instead of doing that, we're going to um, on turn four, we're gonna be able, you know, we're gonna go plaza on turn three. That's what they're doing also. And then on turn four, I can have Senna and a Scythria. And now I have this Fragment, which is unfortunately the Overwhelm. The worst of the ones. Ooh, do I just play Grizzled Ranger? Maybe I just go Grizzled Ranger. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Her light is our sword, her womp, our armor. Here we go. I don't I don't think I I don't think I do that. I would completely trade the two. But I don't think I do that. I can't really imagine that they just pass again. Or maybe they do. I got a single combat out of their hand. Let's see. Six mana. So I can play three things this turn, but I only have board space for two, so we'll probably just play the two. Probably just go Senna, Senna. Yeah, probably just Senna, Senna. And then Relentless Pursuit. I'm what nightmares fear. We definitely see more fight spells though. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. My heart and sword for the muffin. So no judgment, that's good. Relentless Pursuit would kill Garen and do six damage to them, and I think that's something I'm in the market for. Yeah, get this Garen out of here. Before it, you know, strikes, levels up, all that kind of stuff. Plus, killing Garen means they don't have you know, uh, judgment for the champion spell for another Garen. All right, we'll play Riven on their turn for the Reforge. Ugh. What's a warrior but hands to wield a weapon? The heart and mind to aim at strike. No, Lucian. Alright, what do we got? Quick attack. I write the rules of power. Alright, good, no judgment. So let's see. New recruit reporting in. Alright, we're going to give you. No turning back now. Plus two. You. Quick attack. Oh, I shouldn't give you quick attack actually. 
Give you overwhelm. I shouldn't give them quick attack. Well. All right, I guess I could just pass here because this is lethal, so we can see what what kind of spell they want to do, and then I have might. Okay, they don't they don't have any hush or anything. I know what I must do. All right, cool. All right, playing some burn, Timo Draven. This would be good to have House Spider and Grand Plaza. What about Lucian? Maybe I don't need Lucian. No, we'll, we'll keep Lucian. I don't love how Lucian, you know, dies to the Mystic Shot, doesn't really block. Yay. Okay, now you, you do want the, you do prefer to have the attack token on the even turns in the Grand Plaza deck. So you want to play Grand Plaza as early as possible, but you want to play it on your, like, your opponent's attack turn, turn three, and then you get the attack token, turn four. No, I mean, there there wouldn't really be any too much difference with the sword being fast speed or slow speed. The the real difference is you could play it, uh, you know, like, after you, you, like, you attack, your opponent blocks, and then you play the sword. There's a chill in the air. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna wait on you, Grand Plaza. I'm sorry, Grand Plaza. I'm just gonna play Lucian Senna to start with. And then next turn, Plaza. And then the turn after, we got, you know, House Spider, this thing, Pursuit, whatever we wanna do. They're not nearly as aggressive, you know, they're not just a burn deck. Kind of see, making it seem like they have Mystic Shots. Because <sighs> if I make this block and then they Mystic Shot my Lucian, this is a you know real bad block. If I don't block though, I'm taking nine. That's fine. We'll probably kill them. Probably kill them. We'll come close to it. Yep. There's the mystic shot. I'll sleep when they're dead. Can you improve perfection? Kato. Alright, so we're gonna go double house spider and relentless pursuit. Then if we can if we can keep Lucian alive, yeah, you know, we can challenge and get an additional attack. This is just crazy. It's just like Blighted Caretaker on steroids. Burn away the shadows. Really hope no get excited. Hope they don't kill Lucian. But they, they have to get excited, like you know, otherwise they're they're just dead. And so that, that's gotta be what this is. Okay, a fervor. Yeah, they they had to be able to kill Lucian. So that's too bad. Oh, right, that was a, a Lucian's Rally. Okay. All right, well, let's hold on. Let's hold this Relentless Pursuit till next turn now, actually. Of course I'm ready. Whoa. The party has arrived. 
who serve the greater good. Hmm. Approach, savage. I hope this works. Push back the darkness. Oh, right. I gotta play this first. I don't get to just attack. I don't have the attack token. Not yet. Just gotta hope not another Noxian Fervor. Now we're cooking. Oh no. Too. I keep killing. I was, you know, I was thinking that my five four was going to be safe. I, I needed to block. But maybe not. Maybe we're good. I don't know. Fourteen damage. Hmm. I really need like a, a two mana or less unit. Who gets to be able to play with the Kato. And then they have Decimate. Yeah, GG's. That's perfect. Perfect cards. Yeah, there's there's a very small it was just a, it was a very small subset of cards that defeated me. From that point, they needed um yeah, like that. Uh, you know, they need like Noxion Fervor or or get or the uh, whatever card they played, the Whirling Death. They needed those, and then also decimate. Yeah, they could. Oh well. All right, Leeson Riven. This looks like a mulligan of all of these. Are we keeping you? I have the attack token turn two. I'll keep you. What did, what did you what kind of blocks would you have done, Kordak? What what kind of blocks did you think I should have done? Yeah, and we got Ground Plaza with a couple Grizzled Rangers. So they're just not even attacking? Like why not just attack for three? Just couldn't be bothered to attack. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's that's definitely I, I should have played Lucian first out of the two. I didn't want them to see the Lucian, but yeah, I should have played Lucian first, because then then I could have blocked and gotten the gotten the rally with that. Yep, that's that was the big thing I needed to do was Your fate was written. I need to play Lucian first. my options open here with the Noxion Fervor instead of just throwing Lucian out, even though I know the Lucian would get the 1 plus with that. That's pretty good.
I do not want my Grizzled Ranger just to die for nothing. Hmm. That was pretty good. I guess the Grizzled Ranger dies for nothing. Whimsy. We're getting whimsy. But the good news is there. Uh, things out of here, they're not going to keep getting those free 2-1 lifesteal draglings. Break the ties that bind to serve the greater good. Feel pretty good about winning this one. So I think I just go, I think I'm just going to play Lucian here and then just go to attacks immediately. They will reclaim what is ours. With having Above double repost. There's a chill in the air. We could also make the sword. Oh man, then we have that. Alright, let's go with... Overwhelm on you. Plus two, plus zero on you. Yeah, we there. We've already seen concussive palm from them. I don't want to go all in on like one thing. Of, yeah, you, you, like, we could just play all this stuff on like you know like a, a ribbon, make it huge and attack. I don't want to do that with them being a concussive palm deck. All right, three and two. I want to spread out the the damage as much as I can. All right, three and two with Riven Lucian. So we lost a, a mirror match with Grand Plaza where they had, you know, against the Shadow Isles version where they had Grand Plaza, I didn't. And, uh, you know, we just lost that one. No no shame in that. That's just a, a mirror. Could go 50-50. If, if we had turn three, the Grand Plaza, and they did not, we would have won. But they did, and I didn't. And then, uh, so that was our, our first loss. And that, that other loss was against that burn deck where, um, yeah, I think I think... You know, we're talking about like how I should have played that last turn. That last turn, whenever I, I took all the damage to go down to four, taking the Draven and Boom Crew Rookie attack, I played the Rune Weaver first, and I needed to play the Lucian first. I should have, if I would have played Lucian first, then I can block with like a Spiderling on like the Draven a lot easier, and then I get the attack token with that dying, and I you know I wouldn't put Lucian in, um, and then we would get multiple attacks. Now, you know, because then I would be able to attack. And then also have Relentless Pursuit to attack again. Now, would that have still beaten Whirling Death? Because, you know, I, I don't think I would have played around Lucian Whirling Death. I don't know. But uh, that, that could have um, made the game go longer and, and I would have had more life to work with and everything. But yeah, I think, I, I think the Grand Plaza is just incredible. I think this card's incredible. And, um, and yeah, I was you know, very impressed with like House Spider with this deck. Both Lucian and Senna looked really good in this kind of deck. Um, so yeah, I, re I really liked all those cards. Um, Kato, Cythria, this kind of stuff seems a little expensive, honestly. <laughs> with this deck, it's kind of weird. Um, because you do want a lot of cheap units with Grand Plaza, because you just want to play like cheap summoners and or cheap uh, challengers and, and go after them. Uh, and sometimes we were kind of running, we were also kind of running out of cards, you know, like if we played against opponents with a lot of removals, we were kind of running out of cards. So I think that maybe getting some more card advantage in this kind of deck could work um, as, as we, or just like, like, that's why I love Katarina. I think that what I would do with like this kind of deck, um, you know, it's not going to be the, the same, but what I think that may, maybe just for, for a Grand Plaza deck, just from, from what I've learned from what we played last time, what, what we played today um, what I've learned from this for units, uh, as far as units go, I think I would want Katarina in here because it's just a great mana sink. I think you, you need like some mana sinks. And then you also want some ways to be able to generate more cards. And I think maybe instead of like that, that three one that we were playing, maybe play some, uh, egghead researchers. Cause I like, I like how egghead researcher, you can throw that down on turn two. Um, and you, you know, you, you can throw that down in front of a grand plaza. You, it can play a little bit of defense. You don't really mind it. You, it can die. 
And then even later, being a 2-4 challenger, perfectly fine. You know, it's Laurent Protégé for 2 mana after a plaza, but then it also gets you that dragon. Um, so I think, I think I'd want that instead of the... I, I Basically, I just don't think you need Riven. I think I'd rather have that and Katarina and uh, play those, those kind of cards. Um, and then I've, I've also been just really impressed with the Great Horn Companion with Great Plaza. Maybe get a couple of those in because, you know, this is just five mana, six, six challenger with Scout. It's just bigger than other than regular Genevieve. Um, and then, yeah, that's true. We probably don't need, yeah, you don't need Relentless Pursuit with having Katarina. That's probably true. You could probably, probably get some more spells in here. I was happy with the repost, um, but let's see. Because we need more things that just kind of make some bodies for us. And also probably some more spells. Maybe play some Culling Strikes. Because you all know that Culling Strikes just always so great. Uh, but, you know, like there's other like pump spells we could play. Single Combat, Concerted Strike, those are also options. Um, Scorched Earth to, to destroy opponents' landmarks. You know, if everybody else is playing, you know, Plaza decks and everything like that, you're going to want Scorched Earths. Um, I would actually probably go, where is Cooling Strike? Or not not Cooling Strike, but uh, Concerned Strike. Where they play, like, the really big units you can't deal with. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Yeah, I think this this is a slower deck. You know, not necessarily just all aggro, but you, you just outgrind people with Crown Plaza and kill all their stuff and and kill them and everything like that. I'd have to, you know, I'd work on it some more. You know, like this, you know, I'm just kind of showing some some things I would like uh, that uh, from just like the two days of playing cards I've been really impressed with. But you know, something like this. This is this is too much top end. Um, I probably I wouldn't. You don't you don't need Sithria. Sithria can go. Get something else cheaper, like some Crimson Curators. That this thing being a Four power that makes all these things that uh, help you out that are just more more challengers for you. All right, <clears throat> Not, but there we go. It's Riven Lucian. Um, yeah, I I mean, just how how I played. I like playing Grand Plaza as kind of like a, a you know control card. Yeah, if you you could probably play some more stuff for for burn decks. You could you know you could definitely get radiant guardians in this kind of deck. Um, certainly, you know, like radiant guardians work great with like the the scouts and everything like that. If you you know you could you could definitely go radiant guardians and you know if if a bunch of like nexus damage is if that turn you know that's the thing with this kind of deck you can you can tune it however you want like depending on what happens with the metagame. If if burn decks do become popular and there's a lot of nexus damage. You know, you get those radiant guardians and and single combats and concerted strikes and stuff like that. You can certainly play that kind of stuff, and you can lower the curve even more. You know, you don't have to have all this stuff. You know, you can you can get even more one one drops in. But you know, it's already playing three two drops. But, you know, you can get the uh, um, flea feather tracker in here to have another one drop to. Um, help challenge stuff and then of course whenever you have grand plaza then fleet feather tracker can kill three power champions all right so there we go so that's revolution uh those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and leave those comments let me know what you've been doing with the grand plaza if you've been doing other stuff you know besides you know maybe the shadow isles or, or other things like that or you know like with riven lucian all these kind of stuff um you know let me know what you think of them and and what you've been experimenting with those cards um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.